Hey everybody, welcome back to the Wiki Sasquatch channel. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Cobra Eel and the G.I. Joe Diver Torpedo, or full name's Edward Torpedo Lealoa. I guess it's a Hawaiian name. Anyway, this is our Diver Edition. We'll do these two together. Got the G.I. Joe Diver and the Cobra Diver. So let's do Torpedo first. He is number 73. He comes with some artwork on the side. And then you get the same artwork on the front. And all his accessories he comes with. And then there's a picture of him. And then you got the barcode thing. And then on the back you got the... Uh, shows all the features. Some close-up features and then all the accessories. Let's go ahead and open him up. He comes on that little box with the artwork in the back. And his case with his name on it, the number. Shows kind of like a little case you can use in the background for a little stackable crate or something. There's, there's all the accessories. So he's got two flippers, and they're actually different ones. So you got right and left, it's, they're actually marked. I don't know if you can see that little R and L in there. Right. And you can, you can kind of tell which one's right and left by looking at them anyway. All right, and then he's got his harpoon gun, which, look at that. <laughs> the curveball. Harpoon gun. I'm definitely going to have to heat that one up and reshape it. Man. Yeah, I'll have to heat that one up. It's, it's not going to go back without some help. Okay. that They start putting stuff on the little cardboard pieces to keep them from bending. Maybe they should have done that one. But we'll set it there. He's got a knife. And a gun, just like a regular gun. And he's got a mask with hoses that goes to his backpack. And then he's got the backpack. Which is kind of pretty plain for a backpack, really. I figured it has some tank-looking things on there. And he's got a clip for his gun. So we'll go ahead and put that in there. There's his other gun there. Let's get him out of here. Alright, so there he is. He's got a pretty good face sculpt. I like that face. Yeah. He looks a lot like the original. I remember he was one of the the cooler early on G.I. Joe's because he had those flippers <laughs> and these flippers actually slide on they don't just go on like your peg hole like the old ones all right they fit pretty good and it's got a place so you can use a peg with them still if you have a stand or something the other ones I don't think had that in the 80s. I think it used the peg and that was it. But you don't really need a holder, a stand with him because those pretty much are the stand. But that's a neat feature they have in case you did want to use a stand with it. There, let's put his backpack on here. Get to line that harness up with the hole on all these. Let's see. We were, I got my wife to watch a G.I. Joe episode with me the other day. And Torpedo and some eels and some other divers were all up under the water punching each other like hard. You could hear them hit <laughs> when they make contact. It was like, poof, 
pow, pow, you know, like, like a punch sounds. My wife's like, um, I don't think you can do that underwater. <laughs> I'm like, hey, don't destroy my childhood. But, uh, anyway, yeah, it's, I don't think you can really punch underwater like they were doing. Like, it was just like they were on land, basically. But that's what I like about the old cartoons. They suspended the leash. <laughs> All right, there he goes. His arm's kind of stuck there. I had to work on it a little bit. All righty. And he's going to look good with his harpoon gun when I get it shaped. That's crazy. Oh, well. I'll work on it. Uh, he's got a place for his gun. His knife to go here. And all these straps can be removed. They're not molded on. That one's pretty snug, but it's not molded on. It's in the knife holster, so these could also like slip down, but you'd have you have to get over this thick part. So it's it's pretty good staying where it is. That's good. And it looks like this arm controller thing also can come off. You'd have to take his hand off to get it off, I think. But. All right, and let's put his mask on him. Okay, that's something the 80s version didn't have. It didn't have a scuba mask. So that's pretty cool. I like that because you can change it up. You can have the mask or you can not have the mask. Or you can have it on top of his head like that. Like he's, like you see in these documentaries where they come out of the water. Kind of like it that way if I can get it to fit down there a little better. That's kind of cool. Alright, and then we can use his land gun. He's got a place on the back for a gun. I don't know which one if it matters. Yeah, it's this one. Oop. You can see where it kind of fits right there. Yeah, it holds it pretty good. I don't know how waterproof this gun would be. It becomes out of the water and needs it. It don't look really natural like that, but I do like that they fix them where you can get almost all their accessories on them. And not have extras laying around. Not that it's bad to have extra accessories, but like with the Cobra Valkyries, they came with a ton of blast effects. But so I'm all right with extra accessories. But uh, it's kind of cool on these single carded ones that you can get them all if you want to just display them on a on a uh, shelf or something. You can get them completely. Um, as, I guess like. All their accessories to display with them, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I'm still thinking about this harpoon gun. It's, I can't believe it's so bent. <laughs> and this harpoon gun, like the one, the original one has this on it. I don't see a place to hang that. It'd be kind of cool if they had a place to hang it from. I guess that's really to go on his wrist, though. To keep him from losing it if he drops it. Going to the bottom of the ocean. So I'm going to leave that off his wrist for now. Because i got to do some work on this gun. I'll try to fix it before the next video. And show you what it looks like in the next review I do. When it's... It's just such a flimsy gun. They're afraid us adult collectors are going to hurt ourselves. That's what it is. See how it bends when you having support in it. Hmm. I don't know. We're not able to be trusted with these little toy weapons. We might hurt ourselves. So they got to make them flexible in case we swallow them or something. So they won't jam up in our windpipe or something. 
esophagus. This one keeps falling off. Okay. So there he is with his pant harpoon gun. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I can't help but laugh. It's so bent. All right. So I'm going to move him back here. And we're going to look at the cobra eel. I wonder if his harpoon gun's going to be bent. He comes with a harpoon gun. And his mask looks like it's all fitted onto the backpack. The way they got it. Like it slides over his head like a helmet and then the backpack hangs off of that. But he also has the flippers and the harpoon gun and the knife. So he's pretty much got the same kind of stuff that um, Torpedo has. But for the most part, he don't have that extra gun. And his helmet's all one piece. It's, it's, so it's a little different, but it's got your basic scuba diver gear stuff. Right, so, and they also have the same those tube snake things on there with him. And I think they use the same submarine thing. I think they just kind of reversed the submarine and have him stand on it from the other side. So. so I guess they have like the props they use for their action figure photography. And they got those tube snake things. And then on this side you got some artwork that's the same as that. It's usually pretty standard. And on the back it shows some special features. And all the accessories. Alright, so let's open him up. If you get a chance, check out some of the other videos I'm doing. I, I got a bunch of G.I. Joe stuff I'm opening this week. I did Masters of the Universe Origins last week. You can check those out. All the ones that's open back here, I've already done reviews on. Plus, I have a bunch more other than that. These are just the recent ones I've done. And all the ones in the boxes, I'll be doing reviews on, so... There's a bunch more back here. So I'll be doing Star Wars and the DC Universe and DC Multiverse. And I got some motorcycles for Zartan and the Dreadnought. So I'm looking forward to showing y'all those. But they're uh, one twelfth scale Harley Davidsons. You can get them off Amazon for about mm, $17, $18 each. I got a bunch of different ones. But I'm going to be doing a review of those. And I got the Zartan Retro. I'll be comparing it to the original one i think it's a little bluer maybe there's some differences not much but we'll compare them anyway let's get this guy open now, he's number 81 by the way covert yeah. and torpedo is number 73 <laughs> same thing i'm guessing everybody's gonna have the same thing so, if you're not familiar on how to fix these, I did a video several months back where I fixed, uh, it was a Star Wars Black Series helmet. It was out of shape, and uh, it shows how you can heat them up in hot water, and then cool them off after you reshape them, and then they'll hold the shape. So, um, I might do an updated video of that for the G.I. Joe ones and, and fix these harpoon guns. So, I might do that this week. I got to do it anyway. So, I might just throw a video up of it and do a little short video. All right, so, there he is. Pull him out of that box there. I can't make the little box stand up without knocking these figures over behind there. So, I'm just going to go ahead and move it. But there's the artwork. All right, so here he is. Let's go ahead and put his stuff on. Okay, so the helmet is separate from the backpack. Uh, they just showed it that way on that box. I'm glad. Uh, I don't want it to be attached to the backpack permanently. So let's look at this emblem here. Is that the top or bottom? I guess the bottom. I'm not sure what I'm looking at there. Let's 
Which way did it go? Okay, yeah, it goes that way. I see. Okay, there's an emblem. It's got like an eel wrapping around there. I see it now. I wasn't sure what I was looking at at first. That's pretty cool. And he's got the cobra emblem on his chest. So we'll stick his flippers on him first. Go ahead and get him where he'll stand up on his own. Alright. And he has his knife holster on his lower leg. And it can come off. I think he's got the exact same knife as as uh, Torpedo. I always thought the Cobra Eels were really cool when I was a kid. He was, they were some of my favorite bad guys. My first vehicle as a kid was the Hydrofoil. So, of course, this guy was pertinent to that vehicle. <laughs> so, he was always in play at my hydrofoil sessions he can do a pretty good back being there <laughs> all right let's go ahead and put his helmet on okay it's pretty tight fit let's see if i can get where you can see his eyes through there There we go. His eyes lined up so you can see them through there. That's pretty cool. That's how the original ones look. They, they, their helmets didn't come off. So they pretty much look like that all the time. But you can see their eyes. And put the backpack on. Stick their tubing in there. And I hope we'll get a wetsuit soon. Because we got the other divers. Uh oh. Alright, I'm going to put his cricket. His is not quite as cricket as torpedoes. Might have been a good idea just to put a wire in there so you could bend it. I don't know. It's pretty much the same harpoon gun. It's just got a gold tip instead of a silver tip. You get the same knife and the same harpoon gun. And he's got no regular gun. That's all right because they don't. The, other, the original one didn't have a regular gun. Got a pose like swimming by. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. They do pretty good. Their leg, their feet go back really far, so you can really get that flipper motion. So that's good. In case you're wondering how they pose in a swimming position. They do pretty good. And heads don't go back as far as I'd like. I wouldn't mind if their heads would tilt back all the way so they can look up as they're swimming, but that's pretty good. It's not bad. Alright. Gun holster. Here's a knife holster spawn down here. There we go. Okay, so there they are. And I'll do an update on the harpoon gun when I do it. I'll, I'll probably just throw up a little video about it or put it in the next one or something. But I'll show you how to heat that up and fix it. Um, this isn't too bad. It's actually... 
straightened up pretty good but that one's so warped it won't go back without some help so um and i've done like i said i did some on cobra valkyries and i just finished one on the cobra officer and the range viper back there so check those out and i hope you liked the video and if you did please hit the like button and you can subscribe in the lower left corner so you'll get notified when i put the next ones up and you can click on some of the other links there to see some other G.I. Joe Classified reviews I've done. Thanks for watching.